And you ain't gotta call me a boo, cause as bad as you wanna, mm, I wanna, mm, mm. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you just know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. Greetings my kindreds, welcome back to another vlog. Shout out to one of our sponsors for this video, Jelly She, for sponsoring this video because I'm going to start this vlog with a quick try and haul for you guys. I know the girls are out right now. Please don't blame me, blame Jelly She because they are giving us hot girl, chill girl summer, okay? We have some pieces that's giving like hot girl summer and we got some pieces that's giving like chill girl summer. But this piece right here is definitely giving us hot Somali, hot sizzling, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and jump into this haul because, okay, to the men that fumbled me are I pee. Okay, this is outfit number one. This is Jolie She's bikini two-piece set. This is the bikini top with the pants, baby. <laughs> baby, I'm feeling like you ain't gotta say too much from the look at your eyes. Like Say you wanna, mm-hmm, and you ain't gotta call me a boo, cause as bad as you wanna, mm, I wanna, mm, mm. <laughs> That's what it's giving me. It's just so sexy. I'm absolutely loving this. Okay, so on the website, they, um, it's, it's about $52. It's about $52, $53. It's between like $50 and $55 for this complete set. Um, Joe, she did kind of go up on their prices, but... This is cute. They definitely want to put my prices. They're definitely giving me like boutique prices. But fortunately, they do have like Karna and Zip on their website. So that way when you check out, you know, you can um, check out via third party and pay in installments um, if need to be. So me personally, I would spend $50 on this outfit. I think this is like so cute. It's definitely um, peekaboo in all the right places. But baby, this is definitely um number one on my list so far even though it's the first outfit it's still number one on my list so far super cute this is the material up close it's like this knit material i really love the fringe i love how it has the girls sitting looking very nice and natural super cute love this they also have this in white i decided to go with black because you can't go wrong with black so tell me what y'all think i'm feeling very grown and sexy in this outfit. Mm, I like it. 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 It's cute. It's cute. This is what I mean when I say hot girl slash chill girl summer because this is definitely giving like a very much chill girl vibes. Obviously like a, a mini oversized t-shirt and some like sweatshorts. Um, high waist sweatshorts like that, so it is very much high waisted. I got this in a size small. You can wear it like this with some tennis shoes, or you can tie it up like this with some tennis shoes, or even some heels. Me personally, I would wear this with a pair of heels. Let me get this knot right. like this so I think that I would literally just like wear this if I do wear this as a set I think that I would wear it like this tie it up in the back I do love the big graphic in the back I think that it brings the outfit a bit of a more oomph so yeah this is how it would look if you used to wear it with some clear heels I would definitely wear this outfit to something like Apple Tuesday with the girls or even like a movie night you know I think this is super cute it's like a really cute chill two piece set um generally she did the damn thing okay so now this is a very trendy top i just don't know who it's inspired by i can't think of it right now i'm gonna have to look it up but i did see one of my girlfriends with a shirt like this but this part was giving a little bit more expensive <laughs> this part was giving a little bit more expensive now so i do feel like this style top is inspired by something i just don't know but um yeah overall i still think this shirt is really cute i got it in a size small like i said these biker shorts are not by jerry she these biker shorts are mine yeah this top alone is like 30 bucks so <laughs> yeah jerry she y'all trying to make the girls break the bank okay y'all trying to make the girls break the bank but this top is really cute you can wear this with some denim some black pants some biker shorts you know a skirt a skirt 
this is actually cute. Wait a minute. This is actually cute. Hold up, Charlie Sheen. Do you guys see this skirt? It's giving thick of the little stick. Should I tie this around? Or should I leave it hanging? Should I tie this around or leave it hanging? Oh no, I think I should tie it around. Let me tie this around real quick. This is definitely giving my Kendra is what it needs to get. And this skirt costs about like 30 bucks. But it's so cute, I love it. I would wear this outfit together at nighttime. And if I wanted to wear this skirt during the day, I'll probably just wear this with like a really cute basic white top. And I do have a white top that I can try on for you guys to see what is given. But then I also have another shirt. Actually, I'm about to take this shirt off and show you guys the other top that I have that might may or may not look cute with this skirt. Okay, now this top, I really love it. It's really pretty. I love the fit. It's super tight and snug. I got it in a size small. And I actually do like it with this skirt. I don't know, it's giving me something different. I do like it with this skirt. Now, I don't know who really she thought head can come through this little hole. Now, I done like messed up my entire hair. Um, I tried to fix it, but I had messed up my hair trying to put this thing over my big old noggin. Um, it's not that stretchy around the neck area, um, but I was able to get it over my head. So if I can get it over my head, I can get it over y'all head. But it's like super cute. Um, I do like this top. Okay, this is the white cami top um, from Jewelry Sheet, obviously, and it is $15. And I think that this transformed this skirt from a day from a nighttime look to a daytime look. So I think that this is really cute. I would wear this to brunch, but I could also wear this at night. I could see me wearing this at night as well, though. Actually, I could see somebody wearing this in a lot of different ways. I can see somebody wearing this with some white Air Force sneakers. I can see someone wearing this with a pair of white Chanel sneakers. I can see someone wearing this with a pair of heels, with some sandals, and I can see somebody wearing this daytime and nighttime. Like the material is very stretchy. It has two layers. I done got about two to three outfits out of this skirt, y'all. Okay, first and foremost, these uh, denim shorts are forty-five dollars. Y'all know I'm really big on trying to make this booty look. Thicker than a mother effing snicker. But um, it does have a lot of stretch. It's just, the only thing for me is the string. The string doesn't seem like it's long enough to wrap around my entire front area. And if I try to make it tighter, it's going to make me look like squished and square. So um, I'm going to have to figure this out. Either go and get me um, a longer like string from somewhere. Or maybe just like try to retie it, but it took me a lot of energy to get these strings through the holes because I had to do it myself. So I'm necessarily not in the mood to do that right now. Um, and even looking at the length though, I don't think this is enough to wrap around me. What, one, two, three, four, five. So it's like five more holes on each side. I don't know, but the jeans itself is like super cute. Now I have to go ahead and move on to the last top of this trial haul. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping I don't have to utilize my blue tick for this top tonight because <laughs> your girl's tired. <laughs> okay, so this is how this top is tied on the website. Um, I would definitely have to like take the boobs up and push them together, but um, I wouldn't necessarily wear it like this. Or I feel like these pieces in the back aren't long enough. And then these pieces in the front are too long. I feel like the pe I feel like I wish the pieces in the back were longer and then the two pieces in the front were shorter. Cause I don't understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what's going on. I mean I love how the shirt feels. The shirt feels so good. I feel like I can get away with wearing it like this with some heels or like some booties or something like that. Very chill, very cute. Um, definitely heels though. Make me feel a little bit more 
feminine and um, sexy. So yeah, that includes this Chirinzi, um try on haul. Thank you, Jolie for sponsoring this segment of the vlog. Kendras, let me know down in the comment box which outfit was your favorite or which piece was your favorite. And if you decide to get any of these pieces, don't forget to use my links down below in the description box and use my discount code to get a discount when you guys just purchase as well. Happy birthday, Chima, enjoy. Thank you for being my bestie. Continue to shine your light on the world. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, big man. How's it feel to be an old man? <laughs> you get old as fuck. I'm gonna need you to do something, all right? I need you to do something really important with your life because you're too old right now, all right? Happy birthday. Greetings, my kindreds. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is a hot summer day here in Atlanta. When I say it feels like it's 110 degrees out here, that's what it feels like. What's the temperature like out here? It's giving 110 with a side of no heat. With a side of no air. With a side of no air and no wind. It's giving like it's very it's humid. It's actually a one on So we got Brandy here. Hello. We got Bree here. We got all the bees. And then we got Ralph over there. He on the good cooking over there, cooking it up for us. And I'm about to make us some cocktails. Ew, why are you so close? Oh, it's actually shot o'clock. It's giving shot o'clock first. Let's do shot o'clock real quick. Uh, is that a fire over here? Ralph, is there a fire on the ground? Did we get an arm? Ralph, don't give me no fine out here. Now. They're going on IJ. Huh? Huh? What's that? Oh, I forgot, girl. I'm they missed the delay. Okay. You get what I mean? So you, yeah, you see how you start to be okay. moving. So, yeah. Uh, you are my guy. Okay. You just like. <laughs> He's taking a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Ralph, cheers. 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 cheers to Chief. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Wait, I didn't get Happy it. birthday. Hold on, let's see. Oh, you did! Oh, my God. 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 Please be honest. It's too sweet. No, I like it. Do you? I do. Cheers. 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 Period. It's actually really good. Is it really good? Yeah. Is there, oh, how's your name? It's a record voice back there. It's you lying. <laughs> right here. Wow. <laughs> okay, shout out to the. Um... <laughs> That's all. That's all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, kill the music, DJ. What the hell? <laughs> I got too many responsibilities right now. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are special. <laughs> you forgot. You just ran yeah. about it. Yeah. Were you surprised? Yeah, I'm surprised. Where'd you think y'all were? Where you thought you was going? I mean, the pool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you think that? Because you brought it to the pool. Floor, you live on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and uh, you're a tiger. I know. I don't know. I just got some shit. She said some shit. Wow. Didn't I say, watch him come in here and shit. Did you do it? Happy birthday. How you feel? Great. You feel good? Yeah. Yeah, she treated us a surprise party. I was expecting that, but uh, thank you, Amy. Okay, we got chicken, hot dogs. I'm honest, is it ready? Is everything ready? The wings are ready to burn. The wings are ready. Time already. 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 Lights, camera, action, please. 
Hey, my Kendra's, it is another day. Yesterday, we had so much fun at the pool. Um, my friend, he was so happy about his surprise birthday party, so I'm like really happy that was a success. Now, tonight is a ladies' night, so I decided to cook for my girls. Originally, it was supposed to be me, Mary, and Angui, but Mary, unfortunately, was not gonna be able to make it. I'm like really sad about that, but that's okay, because Angui invited two more of her friends, which I'm really excited about because I haven't been able to like spend intimate time with with like them, especially one of them. So um, I'm really excited to welcome them into my home. Even though it's not that big, it can still host about like all of us, you know, four or five of us, because my girlfriend slash neighbor, um, she might come over as well. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I feel like we're like always outside in these streets. You know what I'm saying? We're always outside in these streets and we never get to spend like intimate one-on-one -on -one time together and just really get to know each other as women on an intimate level. So I'm excited about that. So tonight I've decided to cook. I'm doing like an Italian theme night. So I have like salad and wine. I have some white, white wine in the freezer cooling off right now. And then I have some red wine just in case somebody want red wine and I'm making these pesto flatbread pesto spinach mozzarella flatbreads and I'm gonna make some uh, actually it's gonna be you know uh, we might have to put a little spin on it so I'm also making some shrimp and chicken alfredo pasta um, but I'm gonna throw some jerk in there cuz I love it so basically it's gonna be jerk chicken shrimp alfredo pasta or whatever and then um i got some asparagus i'm about to throw in the oven and um actually it's giving caribbean italian night. only because i got like the jamaican ginger beer and <laughs> the jamaican cream soda y'all <laughs> the champagne cola shoulder shout 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 <laughs> oh whatever y'all all i'm missing is a little bit of beef patty on the side I should have got some. I should have got some to have like a mix of like, you know what I'm saying, Caribbean, Italian night. Do that even make sense? I don't know. Yeah, I got like cupcakes, fruit, you know, um, dip, I got vegan dip, I got salsa, I got um, olives and like pita chips and stuff. Like, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna go next door actually and ask my neighbor for her Uno cars, just in case you know, maybe we want to some Uno. And then we're gonna basically just have movie night. Um, I think Angli's gonna bring like popcorn, chips, and dip, and maybe somebody else might bring a, another bottle of wine. Hopefully we get tipsy enough to be vulnerable, you know? <laughs> you know how I go. So um, yeah, they're supposed to be here within like the next 10 minutes, or leaving out at 10. They, they should be here between the hours of like 10 and 10.30. So um, yeah. I'm excited. I've never done this before. Girls night in. Girls night in. Ladies night in, actually, because we ain't little girls no more. We grown in. Wait. Seen a lot of faces All oh, hell I even fuck with different races A white dude, his name was John He had a Queen Bee Moose tattoo on his arm He asked me if I'd be his date for the prom And he'd buy me a horse, a portion of farm Damn a nigga, from down south Used to like me to spank him and come in his mouth And Thorny, he was a thousand He didn't give a fuck, that's what I liked about him He ate my pussy from dark to the moment Called this girl up and told her we was lonely Hey guys! Hello, so today we're having girls' night. Girls' night. And we're having wine tasting. No. Today we're having girls' night and we're here with what what's the what's the key top? And I'm something and I'm something. Best friends. That best friend sound. What is it? Y'all don't know the the best friend. What is it? What do you mean? It is a best friend. I know, but what's the name? Alright, 
So right now we're trying the Josh Seller Pinot Grigio from California. Um, this was Vintage 2020. No. Um, yes, we have... Um, it's fresh and crisp, brightening in any occasion with flavors of melon and citrus and a hit of juicy pear. How cool is it? It's like depends. It smells sweet. sweet. Okay, sorry. We should go to a wine every year. Okay. Or something. It does smell sweet. This is Pinot you know what? Pinot you know, Grigio. It's giving very much dry. It's, it's a dry, it's a dry Pinot. I thought it was going to be sweet. Like pretty, juice. but mm. it's more of a... I don't know the difference between um dry like what's dry wine like when it tastes bitter or um, yeah I think it's pretty much. Okay. I figured if I asked again maybe. You but I would drink this one. It's still fine. Yeah, it is. Right. Dry it's dry. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's dry. It's dry. Okay. I feel like this one might get you tipsy. It gives faster. Rest, it, yeah, it gives restaurants. <laughs> How many percent? It gives restaurant twelve and a half percent. That's not bad. As long as it's not dry wine though. Because I think one of these other ones are at like 14.5, oh, the red ones, which is yeah. my favorite. <laughs> okay, so are we going to like do the red? Let's finish it out. They can just record a little bit. I was over here thinking like, yeah, yeah do the blast, do the blast. The last one, let's smell it. It smells good. Okay, it might be sweet. Yeah. Loki does smell like tequila no. in there. She likes dry one. She likes tequila. Who? She likes dry one. Do you smell tequila in there? A little bit. No, not like <laughs> you put it in there, but doesn't it smell like This alcohol? is fine. This is doable. And now it's sweet on this table. <laughs> this is doable. And I thought about that too. I was like, girls like sweet wine, but I didn't want to be. No, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like both. It depends on how I feel that day. Yeah. This is the worst one. Ah, I'm weird. Yeah, yours is the worst one. I'm, yeah, it is. No, these are on the same level. <laughs> crying, crying. You're sad. You can't do that. I can't. I can't do all this, Kiana. We're playing charades, accent version. Thank you, sir. What? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No. Thank you, is she serious? Guten Tag. No, other one? Japanese. Yeah. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do this one. Urban Licks, like a hit. Licks. Two Urban Licks. Oh, that's funny. We are here at dinner at Two Urban Licks here at the Boardwalk, not Boardwalk. Beltline. Beltline. <laughs> here in Atlanta. Um, I ordered some salmon. Sister girl ordered some rotisserie chicken. Everything is looking good. The weather is amazing. Lemon Drops is dropping. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And then after this, we're gonna go to one of her friend's pop-up shops, right? Mm -hmm. Centennial at Park. In where? Centennial Park. Centennial Park. I try to list some things down below. It's summertime. We all gotta come outside, try some new things, okay? Okay, so I'm okay. It's all about holistic health and wellness, self-care, self-love. We offer these things.
that uh, lemonade from the other day had me laid out literally at that like festival laid out on the bench for like hours because I couldn't move couldn't move room was spinning chest heart was beating I felt like I was being smushed into the ground like I felt like gravity was just like working against me <laughs> like I don't know that see y'all I don't do like I don't smoke like weed or like anything like that so when she said that the lemonade had THC in it I'm thinking of CBD oil <laughs> like CBD so I'm like oh, okay that's you know I could try that you know I've never tried that either so I was like, I'm gonna try that no that she she needed to put a, a warning label on that she needed to put a warning label on that how much stuff she put in there and how much to consume based off of you know what I'm saying your weight or whatever like I don't know because I literally took about like three or four sips of that lemonade and was out for the count I don't see how people like I don't like to feel like that. I I don't like to feel like that. I like to feel my natural self or you know, have a little drink or two, you know. That those are the those are the feelings that I can deal with. I can't deal with no THC feeling. That thing had me feeling sick as a dog. I was out for the entire night. I had to go home. I had to go home. After I was laid out on that bench for like an hour or two, maybe three, maybe three hours. I had to go home. Couldn't do it. But, um, yeah, it's a new day. <laughs> and we're about to have a very, very fruitful and productive day. So, I'm going to start with washing my hair. Because I have to do this dedicated video for this hair company. Um, of installing their wig and stuff. So, I have to wash my hair. Customize their wig. And uh, move on to my trial and hauls. So, we're going to be in the house all day today. Getting content done. <laughs> But before I wash my hair, I want to show you guys what I got um, when I was there at that like festival. So I had got two things. Oh, thank you for supporting my small business. I didn't even see that. That's so cute. Actually, I have her business card. Huh. Okay, so I have these. Uh, I bought these two items from this company called Pretty Kitty. It's a holistic and health and wellness. Um, small business so basically she sells like um, um, yoni steams and um, oil body oils essential oils things of that nature and <laughs> I lost the footage of this vlog that I was gonna post um, before my last vlog but basically like my mom and my godmom came to town and I had put my dildo in the windshield <laughs> in the window I'm sorry uh, put my, my dildo in the window because I wanted to get their reaction when they walked in my room like I just wanted to see what they was going to say they didn't say anything so I was like y'all didn't see that big old dildo in the window and my my godma was like she looked she said where she went in my room she looked she said she started laughing she said girl I didn't notice that she said I probably didn't notice it because that's old school you back in the ancient days we'll use them no more <laughs> I was like, what? She was like, we don't use them no more. We don't, we don't, we don't do that. We use the rose, honey. You need to get you a rose. And mom, she like, Kia, which is my mom's name. She's like, Kia, you, you got you a rose? And mom was like, mm-hmm, sure do. <laughs> so they had that little kumbaya moment about the rose and told me that I was living in the ancient days still using my big old black dildo. So <laughs> uh, I went ahead and got a rose from um pretty kitty the company called pretty kitty um happy meeting joy at meeting that's funny so i haven't opened it yet obviously but i'm gonna try it one day <laughs> and um not only did i get a rose she had like these gels called the snapback kitty gel <laughs> so i got one of them so basically what you do is um insert it in you and um the gel is supposed to work wonders. I don't know. Let me read it. It says, if you've been looking for a natural remedy to improve your physical and sexual health, this is the perfect product for you. Please make sure that you wait 24 hours between each treatment. Use 12 to 24 hours before sexual intercourse. 
So a tingly sensation is normal after insertion. Um, if you, it usually lasts for about five to 10 minutes. Wear a panty liner just in case you have a slight purge. Um, those are the ingredients. The benefits, okay, here's the benefits. Um, tightens and rejuvenates your yoni naturally. Um, dispels unpleasant odors. Improve grip and strength of your yoni. Mm. Increases pleasure, increases moisture, increases sexual intercourse, clears symptoms of bacterial vaginosis, restores confidence, and detoxes your yoni. That's a lot, and this is one little syringe. That's a lot. Um, so yeah, you basically just take it, you take it out the wrapper, insert it in your, you know, the JJ, and um, it says keep hips raised for 30 seconds. Use all of the treatment so basically you use the entire thing or whatever so i only got one because you know i don't know but yeah i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited but um yeah so these are the two items that i got from um pretty kitty so that's pretty cool so go ahead and check them out they do have a website and she does do shipping um she has instagram tiktok website and email address pretty kitty kkp at yahoo.com her name is tiara chess and um yeah yeah now i'm about to go ahead and go wash my hair i'm looking crazy <laughs> go go wash my hair and then we're gonna do this dedicated video for this hair company oh my scalp is so bad it's just so dry okay so i'm about to take a break before i do my makeup and record this hair video but because i need to eat so i'm gonna show you guys how i make my pesto mozzarella pesto flat bread okay this is the flat bread that i like to use i get it from trader joe's you can get it from anywhere though the type of bread but it's indian style flat bread and it's already kind of like garlic flavored but you know i'm going to shazazz it and flavor it a little bit more so first things first i'm going to use some olive oil to coat the bread i got this also from trader joe's but you can obviously use any type of olive oil oops I wasn't expecting that and you know I'm just feeding myself so I just take my hand and I just rub it all over the bread this bread was in the refrigerator by the way so it's kind of cold I really just coat it on this side right and I just use some garlic powder and onion salt I mean garlic salt and onion powder and a little bit of salt you don't have to use this much salt but it just tastes so good to me. And then I just flip that baby back over. This is like a quick and easy snack to make at home. So I go ahead and I use this pesto sauce that I also got from Trader Joe's, y'all. I love Trader Joe's. It is the um, Genova Pesto um, Pesto Sauce Brown or Pesto Spread from Trader Joe's. Just take a knife, well, mix it up a little bit over. Just take a knife and just smear it all over the, the flatbread. Sorry for the aesthetics not being very much aestheticing. I'm just really hungry and I still have a lot to do today and it's already, what, four o'clock and I'm like not even halfway done with my quote unquote work day. So yeah, I um just put enough. I love me some pesto sauce, so I'm not stingy with the pesto sauce. You feel me? But I'm doing this because the night I'm doing this because the night of ladies' night, <laughs> the next well the next day Aunt had texted me and she was like um did you record, like she was like, did you record the, uh, how to make the, she called it a pizza, it's not a pizza though. <laughs> and I told her I didn't, but that I would. Cause she was like, well, how are we supposed to remake it? <laughs> so yeah, that's that. All right, cool. So that's all the pesto sauce that I'm going to use, right? And then I'm gonna get some spinach. I'm telling you guys, it's super easy. But before I do the spinach, I'm going to take this mozzarella cheese that I also got from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to take some 
shredded mozzarella cheese and just put it on there just like this cool beans cool beans right i'm gonna take some spinach if you want to turn this into a mini pizza you definitely could if i had some turkey pepperoni i would definitely have some turkey pepperoni on this bread right now it's a little like lopsided because the bread is cold and if i bend it i feel like it's just gonna break and i don't want to break it literally it's just like so easy y'all but did you just have a rubber band on it i am going to take this actual mozzarella cheese from trader joe's as well everything i literally got from trader joe's i love trader joe's this um is fresh mozzarella this is a fresh mozzarella log from trader joe's and it's sliced already ready to serve i'm literally going to I love this because it's already like sliced. So I'm literally just going to take some pieces and just throw it up there. Probably just use maybe like four or five pieces of mozzarella. I love cheese. I'm like a cheesy person, okay? I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of more mozzarella to kind of cover the green leaves. Cool. Now, I'm gonna take some crushed red pepper. This stuff just is not gonna come out. And then I'm going to take some oregano. I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic salt and just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Boop. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take then I'm gonna take some paprika, just a little bit, and then some chili powder. So the seasonings that I used was chili powder, paprika, oregano, crushed red peppers, garlic salt, and a little bit of salt. And I'm literally just taking this as is. I got this from Crate and Barrel, and I just put it in the oven and let it do its thing. Let me show you guys what it looked like first. Okay, this is what it looks like before it's melted and then we're gonna do it after. This is basically how it turned out. Last time I had used four mozzarella slices. This time I used five, so it looks a little messy, but I promise you, it's so freaking good. I got some olives and I have me a glass of wine. Typically, with this, it would be nice to have white wine, but I also got this leftover Wagyu um, rib that I got from this restaurant I can't think of. It. Oh, Arnett's. I went to Arnett's and it got like a Wagyu um, rib. It looks burnt. I promise you it's not burnt. It was just a sauce and then like the oven like cooking the sauce, but it's not burnt. Look, hold on. <laughs> it's not burnt. I'm gonna just use my fingers. You can literally just pull this apart. Like, you don't even need, you don't even need a knife. I mean, obviously you would want a fork, but I don't even need a knife. Cause it's just that damn tender. Look at that. Mmm, so tender and so good. So yeah, this is a Wagyu rib. So this is leftovers, but this is obviously homegrown, homemade. And it's so good. And I got my little snack and I got my glass of wine. And then after I finish eating, we're going to get to work. Look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> I know I've 
Stabbing away I'm just trying to get my paper straight